Hello everyone, my name is Rumat and today we're going to do another tutorial as Tulia Jungle in which I actually experiment a bit so this is going to be a guide in which I try something different regarding my runes and besides that I need to be careful when they are invading. Anyway, I'm playing with Dark Harvest, Cheap Shot, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter and for rune stats I'm playing with this but I'm playing with Biscuits and Time Warp Tonic for the jungle. Now, I'm doing this because in most of the games that you're going to be invaded you're going to struggle a bit, especially if your laners aren't as art here. Like, I understand in this game that we have a Zed and Darius that can roam towards my blue buff for example, but in the case that they cannot do so we have a very mid to late game champion in mid lane like Cassidy and he cannot follow and help me, then this is our, these are some good runes to actually maybe prolong the fights against their jungler so basically I really hope this guy comes uh, basically what you'd want is to survive more and I don't, I don't mind someone flashed there I've heard the flash I heard I definitely heard the flash and also time of tonic helps you with the extra HP that you've just seen and those biscuits are actually used for later fights in which we're going to actually need to survive against that Warwick and I did lose a lot of HP here. A trick that I also want to do is the level 2 gank on mid but right now that is not available as you might notice as they actually, they actually pushed and because he pushes I need to be careful to that and so for runes you could play with this combination and as you can see I already have my biscuit it's pretty useful in terms of mana and in terms of instant HP in trades but in terms of items uh, well in terms of items you should go for the AP jungle item maybe then towards orb towards Rabadon, Sludans and Zonia and items like that maybe Morello if they have lots of heals and those are some pretty decent items to follow and so you should try to play with them. Also, the difference between the other build and this one is that if you play with the other build, uh, with the other runes, sorry, I mean, you're going to have uh, for secondary what? Maybe you're going to have maybe Nimbus Cloak and maybe Water Walking, which help, which help a lot in the river. I don't, I don't deny that, but I believe, I believe you're gonna do much better with these runes against early game champions. And here is the first gank opportunity for me. I have to ward here and then check for the. Okay, wait. Okay, coming. That was a pretty good play. Now I'm seeing Warwick. Actually, we put versus two here. Okay, thank you. What you want to do now is to actually gank this river. Because there is a gank opportunity uh, if he fights her. Raven should instantly jump on Laris here, right? This guy didn't use E for some reason, so I'm just gonna back off and then probably come again. But yeah, uh, Nimbus Cloak and, and the other rune and uh, Water Walking help a lot in this context. coming somewhere I'm still sticking here because I still want to help the guy I cannot reach bot I cannot reach bot but I'm not sure why he thinks we can kill her surely gonna take this it's actually a free objective on the map and such an early objective can lead to some more fun okay and we're gonna look where we can 
use it because on bot lane they died, but we can get a lot of plates on mid lane, a lot more distributed gold for us. And so I'm gonna get it here. And we can actually get it faster than them here. Z backed off, but I suppose I suppose we can farm this. And my top laner also died again. Oh my god! Now I tried to get first tower there. I really did, but as you can see, it's not that simple because my mid laner lives for no reason. But we're still we're still doing great here. Uh, we're we're six kills behind. Uh, not it's not that big of a problem. As we into the mid game, we're going to do a bit better. Uh, the only problem is that I need to close out them some bounties, and so some ganks will go right for us. Others may not. As you can see, we got the shutdown on top lane right here. Finally. And it's mainly because they are the same level and this guy has a finished item. And now we're going bot because Warwick is probably going to be around here more. And if I hit the full combo with the help of Anivia, then we might get an easy kill. And see, ah, okay, never mind. They are winning without me doing that much. We can, we can actually do something here. We can actually. Okay, back off. Back, 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 back. I'm just staying here since there might be a Diana that's coming. And I want to cover for them. Uh, at this point they should actually back off. They should actually back off because if that Diana is coming then well. It's pretty much resting this there. And as you can see, there is escape this time, so it's fine. And I tried to help him, but he doesn't really want to be helped apparently, so yeah. I'm gonna get this some mana back. I'm seeing the Warwick, we need to shut down the Warwick as well. And then this is pretty fine right now. But we really want, really want to shut down that guy. That's amazing. All right, I'm gonna need help here. Ah! That is fine. so I don't know why we rushed but it's fine really we need to move towards this and I need to keep the level close to that Warwick and currently we can see if they intend to start it so I'm going to get blue carefully because there might be a ribbon so I'm going like this I got it and I'm seeing that part of the map as well they can't really do much there okay Heck. got an ultimate from Riven on top of my head I'm not helping you because I'm gonna die instantly if I do do we want instant Rabadon yeah we do because we're interested in burst right now to kill 
their main assassins now. Orb would also help, but they don't have any magic resist. So Rabadons, flat Rabadons would work better here. And now, let's talk about a bit about Macro. As you can see, there is a team fight shaping up, and Zed just suicided here. In terms of macro, you might have to trade early tricks and early buffs for the sheer fact that you are a bit weak in the early game. So you should consider that also and every time you do the buffs you should consider actually checking for words as I just did here and you should find you should find that player that actually stomps the lane. And win two versus two with him or three versus three and such, because if, if you have a strong laner, you can actually profit off him and get fed yourself while he's also getting fed and stronger. And if you win that part of the map hard, you can you can move towards other parts of the map. So that's a very smart strategy for you to do. So as we can see, this guy is getting another kill here. Needed, but I suspect I suspect Riven is going to come. Okay. It's fine, really. It's not fine if I'm getting dived by these guys. I'm not going closer than that because. They can probably one-shot me. That Diana build is interesting to say the least though. And also the crab, okay. That Riven is so far ahead it's embarrassing to say the least. Yeah, that went well. I actually came there to stop the Diana from re-engaging. cannot do more than that because Lucian don't know actually what Lucian did this fight but this opened up this trick for us Darius dying was actually a pretty good thing and good okay started to that okay plants murdered me uh, but this guy is going to kill both of them <laughs> a good trick which is extremely beneficial for us and that heal that heal should be stopped so I cannot I should ping my team to get the items necessary to deal with heal reduction so it's this one because these guys are having well a lot of damage mm, Mao is not really useful Mao against Zyra, Diana, eh. especially since they aren't fed, if they were fed that would have been a problem, but I would have gone on Z for something different, especially you have Mertres, come on, at least go for Tabis, 
if you want to play it like that. Zed, please. That is fine. I mean, it's pretty stupid the fact that he got their attention. <laughs> Just <laughs> okay, free Baron. I mean, they could have died if they ganked us there, but yeah, I suppose that went well for us. Uh, finally, after tons of ages, I retract what I said in the early game. You should have gone for Morello if you played in against this context, because apparently a Fed Driven heals a lot from this item and the Grasp. And I'm not. I mean, it's this is the such. This is up for debate. Okay, I'm really tormented about it since I'm not sure if the heals are indeed enough or not. But I believe at least Warwick heals it's something that matters. Okay, I instantly disconnected and reconnected for some reason and lost a cannon about, about that. Well, I need level 16 now and let's wait because we need Z as well. Wait for the Z and then I might be able to properly alt. But yeah, let me, let me take this. Oh my god. Okay, I can I can ult. Perhaps trade the support for the jungler. I mean, yeah, why not? But I'm still not going to have mana. But the fact that Darius went bot here actually stopped us in our tracks. Because we can't really do much without him. He's our front line, and so it becomes a bit harder to deal with this kind of stuff. I do have flash. And I suppose I'm about to get attacked. I can actually push here. Okay, my bad. Okay, we got the Diana, and Darius is in between their ADC. Hold, hold, hold. Okay, okay, it's fine. I think we still won. Even though I kind of traded myself for the Diana. Yeah, we won. Okay. Uh, got surprised there because I th I thought I'm gonna hit W. Sorry, I've seen that and <laughs> at least I did not get killed by a plant even though I got caught. And why did we want this? Is because Raven stopped being that strong and she didn't have enough time to actually murder our ADC, which now is quite strong compared to before. And that's what actually won us. Darius could have actually double killed there. Uh, and generally he could do that if he's left alone and he has ghost. And this guy might die. Yep. And the instant surrender vote. Ah, yes. That's exactly what we expect. And so the next things are another Drake and a Baron. So that's what we are interested in final drake to seal the game off and a baron now i'm staying around here and i am expecting someone from their team okay that was nice we got not only 
Okay, we, we are doing fine here. We got not only a ult from Warwick, but also a pretty decent turnaround. And I am going to exploration. Uh, okay. Didn't get the big one, okay. Probably cornered here, but... And my team wants to engage me. If I die to a plant now, please report me. And I'm not allowed to do so. Baron is up soon. We are actually winning this because Zed became so fat. And Darius also is more useful right now. Okay. Yeah, got him. Got him. That was that was pretty clutch. And this guy's going. This this is the chase. <laughs> He's actually going to get the kill here. And yeah, we can end right now. So, this was a pretty stressful game, I believe, but we generally did fine. I'm gonna zone ya here because let's not just die and also auto attack. The Nexus for the final blow. I really hope you enjoyed the video being cut out like that. And I'm. I hope I did not bore you with this kind of tutorial, and I really hope there was something to understand and to learn from that. Thank you guys and see you next time, goodbye.